All right, so let's jump in here and let's show you this patient. So this patient had a crossbite. She had both a anterior crossbite, that's a crossbite with the front teeth. You can see this tooth here is stuck behind the front ones. She also had a posterior crossbite, meaning that the back teeth were in crossbite. You can see her upper arch is too narrow compared to the lower arch. So in this video, we're gonna show you how we fixed both her anterior and posterior crossbite and how that was done. So her case, in addition, you can see she has quite a bit of crowding top and bottom. And just when you look at her, her smile is really narrow. You can see when she smiles that her arches just look too narrow. So in order to treat her, we wanted to expand her upper arch as well as do braces to help fix the bite as well. So whenever we look at posterior crossbites, we have a few options for how we're gonna fix that. One is crossbite elastics, and we'll show you how that works. The other is with a quad helix expander. We'll show you a video of that as well. And lastly is a rapid palatal expander, also known as an RPE. So crossbite elastics, we'll show you here, are designed to expand the upper arch by wearing some rubber bands. The rubber bands hook up from the tongue side on the top teeth here, and it goes to the cheek side on the bottom. And over time, that gradually pulls the top teeth out and pulls the bottom teeth in. So this is, works really well if you have kind of a minor crossbite or in adults where we can't expand the upper arch as much. This helps by constricting the lower arch and expanding the upper teeth. So this is primarily done in more of a minor crossbite. So this patient was really too constricted in order to use crossbite elastics. You can see we actually wanted to expand her whole upper arch, including the teeth and the bones. And so crossbite elastics on their own are only effective in really moving teeth they're not gonna expand the bones. So you can see when she smiled, we wanted to fill in her smile more. And that's where we really need to expand that whole upper arch, both the teeth and the jaw as well. Hey, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification to get notified each time we upload new videos and make sure to tap the like. The other option for expansion that we sometimes use is called a quad helix. And we'll show you what that video looks like here. So this is more of a spring loaded expander that gets placed on the upper arch and you can see this is what it looks like before it's placed in. It's loaded, placed into the top teeth. It's glued in to those back molars, and it gradually widens out those top teeth. So a quad helix expander is effective at moving teeth. It's not as effective at moving the actual bones of the upper arch. And so we chose not to use a quad helix on this patient as well for that fact that we wanted to actually expand the upper arch, the bones included. And so we decided not to use a quad helix for this patient. And so an RPE is the most effective at expanding both the teeth and the bones. So this is what an RPE or a rapid palatal expander. So you can see this type of expander has a little key mechanism. And so in our office, we usually have patients turn this key one time a day. So it's glued into the top arch. And then once a day, usually at nighttime, right before bed, usually the child's parent will turn this little expander and each turn is usually about a quarter of a millimeter. So it's really gradual, but every day it expands and you can see that over time you'll actually see an opening of the front teeth. And that is a sign that we're actually getting bone expansion or skeletal expansion and expanding that whole upper arch. So we use this in cases where we want to expand both the teeth and the bones in order to get the maximum amount of expansion. And so, like I said, this patient, we felt like widening out the whole upper arch, bones and teeth included, would give her a nice broader smile, would allow us some more room to get the teeth straight, as well as give us the room we need to get everything aligned. So like I mentioned, she's got quite a bit of crowding. This tooth is trapped behind this one, so we need to make space for that one. We need to widen out the top teeth. So to treat this patient, we did a RPE, where she turned that key one time a day um, for about two to three months, I believe, until we had the expansion we needed. The same time she had that expander in place, we did braces as well on the top and bottom. Using braces, we gradually started making room for these teeth to come in, bringing them in. And we'll go ahead and jump in and show you her after photos here. So you can see these are the after photos. You can see how nicely that expanded the upper arch, kind of widened out the smile, filled in her smile a lot better. You can see it looks much better, much more full. We were able to get those teeth entirely widened out, look wider than the bottom teeth. Additionally, we fixed the anterior crossbite just using braces where we helped bring this tooth forward to get it out of that crossbite relationship. We got everything straightened out. You can see we placed top and bottom permanent retainers. Anytime that we have a significant amount of crowding, 
we find that this helps to make sure that those teeth stay where we put them, especially that tooth that was in crossbite. It's going to have a tendency to want to move back into that crossbite relationship. And so we put that permanent retainer in to be safe. So you can see a before and after photo here. You can see on the smiling just how big of impact that had by widening out that upper arch. It really helped fill out her smile. You can see on the upper arch just how much wider we were able to get everything with that expander. Then on the bottom, she didn't have too much crowding to begin with, so that was just really more alignment of those front teeth. That wasn't as dramatic on that one. And you can see from the front how big a change we had with that tooth. We were able to get it brought forward. We were able to widen things out, get everything to fit. And then just with the bite and the alignment in general, we were able to get everything locked in much better. So total treatment time was about a year and a half to two years. I don't recall exactly on this patient, but it was uh, probably less than two years, I believe. So that's about it. That is how we choose to fix posterior crossbites in our office is with either elastics, a quad helix, or an RPE. And that's going to depend on the age of the patient, how much expansion we need, and what type of expansion, whether we want to expand the teeth or the bones on which appliance we're going to use. So with this patient especially, we felt like the RPE was the best choice. So if you have any questions about posterior crossbites, about anterior crossbites, expanders, anything like that, Feel free to ask them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like. It helps our channel grow. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet and tap that bell to receive notifications of each time we upload videos. We upload videos about braces or Invisalign each week, so make sure to tap the notification. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.